Well, I'm heading down to Southern Trail. I'm going chicken hunting. Chopping redneck chicken necks. I ain't saying nothing to the hillbilly stuck my barrel in his eye. Boom shaka, boom shaka, head jumps in the sky. Why I never like chicken pot pie? Or the chop. <laughs> So tell Mr. Billy Bob, I'ma cut his neck up, slice, poke, chop, chop, stab, cut. What can you do with the drunken hill, Billy? Cut his fucking eyes out and feed him to his Aunt Millie. Willy, willy, chicken neck, chicken hunting, gotta love it. Hit him with the 12 gauge bucket, chicken nuggets. Laid out all over the grass, then his little half dog will eat him up fast. Last as long as you can, my man. Cause when that chicken head hits the fan, you got blood, guts, fingers, and toes. Blood, guts, fingers, and toes. Blood, guts, fingers, and toes. Sit in front row with the chicken show. So, who's going chicken hunting? We's going chicken hunting. Who's going chicken hunting? Who's going chicken hunting? We's going chicken hunting. Cut a motherfucking chicken up, right? Let me get a chicken sandwich with man with you. I'm finna wreck on a chicken neck Chopping up hilly and Billy Bob Billy Cause I chop motherfucking redneck silly Peeked in his yard and what did I see? I seen a chicken boy fucking a sheep I say, mister, mister, what the fuck you trying to do? Ah, uh, Billy Boo Barrels in your mouth, bullets to your head The back of your neck's all over the shed Boom, shaka, boom Chop, chop, bang. I'm too dope, and it ain't no fang. To cut a chicken, trigger's clicking. Blow off his head, but his feet's still kicking. Last as long as you can, my man. Cause when a chicken head hits the fan, you got blood, guts, fingers, and toes. Blood, guts, fingers, and toes. Blood, guts, fingers, and toes. Sitting front row at the chicken show, so. Who's going chicken hunting? We's going chicken hunting. Who's going chicken hunting? Who's going chicken hunting? We's going chicken hunting. Cut a motherfucking chicken up, right? Went to Kentucky. I got lucky. Met this hot collar bitch named Bucky. Riding on a chicken, milking a cow, hitting switches and a drop top, low ride tractor plow. Red neck fella, moonshine seller. Hanging by his neck, balls, chicken balls locked in the cellar. Yellow belly chicken plucker, you redneck fucker. Who's going chicken hunting? We's going chicken hunting. Who's going chicken hunting? Who's going chicken hunting? We's going chicken hunting. Cut a motherfucking chicken up, right? And we are live on Underground Wicked Radio. What'd you think of that, bro? It was all right. <laughs> Fucking AI, man. Crazy, crazy shit. Bro, let's talk about the gathering real quick. How was your experience for the first time being there? It was amazing. I'm, I can't wait till next year. That's, that's, it was a lot of fun. It was a big party. I mean, just huge, man. Lots of... Just... The first night we got there, we walked around with the megaphone with Danny Dollars hollering and harassing people and running up on campsites. <laughs> you know, and it's, just, it's just awesome, man. I don't even, it's just hard to explain. And then all then the live shows are just great. We'll grab my mean? guy real quick. I got to play something for him oh, after we take a few Help questions. Me. I got something for you after seeing how you mentioned Danny Dollar. So, man, how long have you been making music now? It's been a good six, seven years since I've had you on for an interview. Yeah, I mean, I've been doing it longer than that, but yeah, I've been at it. I've been at it. Um, just released an album in May, Revelations 1134. Got a bunch of shit on there. If you ain't heard it, go hear it. Yo, know, I got to check that out. Um, I'm going to play right off one of my favorites you've done recently. It was um, Ain't No Sunshine. Man, I really like this one. Ah. Tell, tell us what made you decide to write this one and make a music video for it. <coughs> okay. Uh, well, the song, I guess, is like a love song, obviously. <laughs> and then, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, and then, like, I don't know, you know, it's kind of about my fiance, I guess. And then, uh, I kind of, you know, she's still alive. I didn't kill her like I did. In my <laughs> I was gonna say that's some hell long right there. 
God. So it's not really about her, but you know, it's a, uh, it's uh, I just, I like the beat so much. So that's what made me want to just do that kind of song. I was just kind of feeling the music and that's what came out. Hell yeah. We'll be right back after this. Drop, drop a comment. Let us know what you think of the song and the music video. Shout out to Rock TV. Try that on a track this is a true story. I thought it got it for you. She loves me. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me. I cannot wait to add that to the radio, homie. Hell yeah. That's why she was like, wait. <laughs> you freaking, you killed her in the song, man. <laughs> so, yeah, you know. So how did you come up with the name Black Magic the Infidel? I cannot remember. Okay, I'll tell you again. I was uh, in high school, probably like 10th grade or something. And I was like in science class and there was this poster. And it was like a bunch of flowers and shit all over it, like really lame. But on the bottom, it was made by the Black Magic Production or Poster Company or some shit. And I was like, Black Magic, that's kind of cool. And then, uh, you know, down the way after a while, I figured, well, I got to kind of add a K to it. And uh, 
put infidel at the end just to be original because there's so many black magics, you know? Mm -hmm. Like when you Google it. You know? Now, that's that, the quick version. <laughs> oh, yeah. That K, man, that's that's good because when I first looked you up, I forgot to put the K. I was like, fuck, I can't find his music. And then I remembered the K. Um, yeah. So what was your best experience at performing The Gathering this year? Performing? No. <laughs> um, you didn't do any uh, side cool. you didn't do you didn't do any side stages or anything? You did perform. Yeah, I did the uh, ship of full stage. That yeah, was really cool. Um, I liked how it was actually like fucking, you know, like a real pirate ship and shit. I oh, no thought shit. that was real fucking cool. Um, it was just cool just to hang out, party. I mean, it, it was real cool. That, like everybody, almost all the acts on the side stages. I I know all them guys damn near. You know what I mean? It's like fuck. I've done a show with you. Hung out with you, did a song with you, all that kind of shit. Um, it was just real good. So you were <laughs> mentioning Danny Dollar. Earlier. I'm gonna play this for you real quick. <coughs> Danny Dollar's here, aka Listen, turn Grandma House to a strip club, and you're tuned in to oh, DJ Snickers <laughs> and Underground Wicked Radio. In me. I'm about to get my dick sucked while I eat some coke. <laughs> Bro, I fucking <laughs> laughed when he sent me that. <laughs> That's my guy, uh, man. That guy is awesome, dude. I mean, I had a sob earlier, doesn't that count as coke cuts? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, he's a good guy. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, what do you got for a question? <laughs> um, Who would you say are, like, your biggest inspirations for music? Uh... Obviously, Esham, probably like Metallica, Megadeth, Slayer. Oh, yeah. Uh, I like that answer. You know, that's pretty much it. I mean, like, you know, when I was a little kid, I was into Michael Jackson and all that kind of shit. But, you know, five, it's probably like Esham and Slayer. <laughs> that's awesome. Hell yeah. It's wicked shit. You know what I mean? Good shit. Old school shit, man. You don't even hear that anymore. Um, how how would you describe your interaction with your fans when you finally get to meet them in person? Has it been a good experience or bad experience? It's been good, man. It's been real cool. Um, like I'm so appreciative whenever you know what I mean. It's like hell yeah. Uh, been real cool. Like uh, I did a show in Lansing this summer. A couple guys showed up that I didn't know at all, and they're like, "Dude, we just been listening to your stuff, man." And I was just floored, like, oh, my God, like, you know what I mean? People I've never met just show up to my show because they like my songs. I was like, Hell wow, yeah. that's supposed to happen, I guess. But <laughs> Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, the last time we, inter we interviewed you, um, God, I think you'd only done Every six time. or seven live shows. What's your count at now? Oh, man, live shows now? <laughs> Fuck. Well, it's kind of, I did, I'd probably do like, this summer alone, I probably did 12. Damn. Summer before that, I probably did like 10 or 12. And then those are the ones that are like my shows. That's not counting the shows that say I buy onto a show or it's my homeboy show and I'm just going to get on that show. Ew, it's a lot. <laughs> I'd say maybe 100 now. Hell Total yeah. Total 100 Hell and something, yeah. you know? So that brings me back to an old question I asked you. Has your career gone where you wanted it to in the last five years? Yes. It keeps growing. Good you know goodness. what I mean? The numbers keep getting bigger, so it's like, well, fuck. I guess it's doing what it's supposed to, you know? Hell yeah. I'm glad to hear that. What do you got for a question? What is, like, the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you while performing? <laughs> Oh man, there's a lot. Um, <laughs> one night ago, all right, one night I was uh, this was at the Trumbull Plex in Detroit, and all my buddies were there, and we were getting all fucked up, and I'm the headliner, so I go last, right? By the time I get on stage, I'm just fucking wasted. The music <laughs> starts. I can't remember a single word. Oh no! Uh, I just like, like my mind just went like poof. Right. And then the next song comes on, same thing again. I'm like, oh my God. That was pretty bad. I think that was that was probably the worst one. 
Did you make it up as you went? Yeah, did you recover? Did you recover? No, I had to do it after like the third song and didn't know it. I was just like, let me get <laughs> shit, bro. I don't I know what I'm like, it's funny because I was telling my one boy smooth, I was like, he's like, come on, just do one more shot. I was like, dude, I'm already too fucked up. I gotta rap a little bit. So I do one more shot. Oh, we walk man. around the bar a little more, whatever, run back into each other. He's like, come on, you gotta do another shot. By the time I rap, I almost totaled my car on the way home. It was just bad. Oh man, <laughs> it was just man. bad. That was Damn. a bad night. Damn, bro. So I see you got Renee Moon on your label now. How's that going? Well, Swing D's label, but uh, that's cool. Renee's cool. We did a show in uh, Ypsi this summer or spring or something like that, and uh, it was cool. She's oh, cool. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try to get her to do a hook for me on my next album. Hell yeah, man. I've had her music on my radio for, God, seven, eight years, Renee. Yeah. Um, so I want to play Sacrifice featuring Swing Diablo. Tell us about this song and music video. This video was shot by my buddy Frank, um, Fat Boy Media. It was a lot of fun. Um I like it. I don't know. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> it's good. Oh, yeah. uh, typical black magic evil song, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I like it. I'll be right back after this. Black magic infidel. Sacrifice featuring Swing Diablo.
you're not walking across the table. Oh, yeah, bro. God, you've come a long, <laughs> long way. I love the I love the music videos. Thanks. I got a new one I'm doing on the 19th uh, called Flames of Hell. It's uh, it's going to be like uh, probably, I'm hoping my most scariest, illest, sickest thing yet. Hell yeah, I can't That's wait awesome. to see that. We ain't filmed it yet, though. But yeah, oh, yeah. it's uh, 19. Oh uh, yeah, I'll be watching for that to drop. I'll probably bring it up for a video um, reaction on an interview for you. Hell yeah, we got we got to get a new radio drop, man. Um, you shouting out, you're listening to Black Magic and Fidel, listening to Underground Wicked Radio with DJ Snickers and DJ Stars, and then say links where people could find you. Go for it. Uh, everywhere. <laughs> Um, I guess uh, you put in Black Magic to Infidel, Spotify, YouTube, Bandcamp, Apple. I mean, we got great distribution over here at Brimstone. So, like, I mean, just just type it in and spell it right, and you'll find it. Merch, all that shit's all together. All the links, just just go anywhere. Wherever you listen to your music, just Google it, and I'm right there going hi. <laughs> You forgot to say <laughs> you forgot to say this is Black Magic Infidel listening to Underground Wicked Radio. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Yo, this is Black Magic to Infidel listening to Underground Wicked Radio. Perfect. I'll put that. Hell yeah. Um, we got we got to play one of your new songs too before uh, after we take a few more questions. Sure. Um, man, it's been forever. Uh trying to see here what 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 is your favorite artist that you have opened up for now man have you got to perform with any of your idols i've done a couple shows with isham hell yeah um fuck i've done a show with brother lynch hung hell yeah i did a show with uh hold on let me think raz razakel um did a show with uh Damon Quinn. Um, I mean, there's a lot. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot. Like I said, probably fuck ABK, Blaze Your Dead Homie. Um, I did the Lars when they were last American rock stars with Bizarre and King Gordy. I did that show. Uh, like I said, this is a lot, man. <laughs> it's a lot. I guess it's I'm glad to hear that. I am. So you actually got. Some of the stuff off the bucket list you had last time I interviewed you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, good. Happy Been working real hard. How do you balance, like, your music and your personal life? It's very hard. Um, it's very hard. I guess uh, I don't let either one get in the way of the other. Let's yeah. say it like that. Like uh, work, home, kids. Okay, make sure all that's in line. You know what I mean? Before I say I go do a show, go to the studio, anything like that. On the flip, though, when I have stuff like that planned, I have to plan way ahead to make sure yeah. that shit don't get messed up, you know? So yeah. it, it's a tight one. I have three kids, so I can't imagine trying to balance like a whole bouncing career like that. <laughs> It is very difficult. <laughs> like, <laughs> getting sitters and I uh, know, yeah. man. Yeah. Masic music, man. That is that still what Brother Lin Chung is? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. I did a show with him at Harpo. It was probably like four years ago, five years ago. And I wanted to meet him, right? You know what I mean? And he didn't show up. I guess he was at some strip club or something. <laughs> so uh, he, he showed up just to rap, and then after he rapped, he took the fuck off, you know? Oh, wow. So he just bounced after it, didn't do any meeting. Oh, my God. I just wanted to say what's up, you know? But. Damn, man. Well, here, here here's a clip for you. Mm -hmm. What's happening? It's your boy Dilemma. I'm in the building with my nigga DJ Snickers on Wicked Radio. I know he ain't a nigga, but fuck that. Anyway, cut out out is in stores. I need y'all to go cop that ASAP and with the hurry ups. You are listening to Wicked Radios. It's that nigga Dilemma. 
There you go, bro. Yeah. Yeah, make sure. That. So now that you've been doing this a while, what what would be advice you give to someone just starting out making music? Quit, go to school, get a job. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, huh? <laughs> You got to really want to do it or really – I, I like I tell everybody, I've said it every time anybody asks me. I do this strictly because it's for the love, man. There ain't really a lot of cash at this shit now that everything is in streams. You know what I mean? So, I mean, who has a CD player nowadays? You know what I mean? Like you can slang out the trunk like the old days or not. You know what I mean? Oh, so we use CDs around here. Bro, I yeah, prefer hard, hard copy. I, I don't like digital download. Same here. Honestly, I just uh, yeah, I got a story about that too. But most people like okay, I still print up CDs. I you know do shows. They'll be for sale. Or like I you know I, mean, I went to the gathering. I gave away forty. Like here you go, man. Here you go, man. I don't know how many people actually have CD players. I hope they listen to it. <laughs> oh yeah, I it's definitely like, need one in my car. So you know what I mean. Well, I'll send you guys each one. How about that? <laughs> oh, yeah, bro. It's like hard to figure it out. Like I had an Impala, I had a CD player, and now I got a Blazer, and I don't have a CD player. I'm just sick. Uh, I've had the same Honda Civic for like the last seven years, and it definitely gets used a lot. She was shocked that my laptop had a CD player on it still. Mine doesn't. Yep. Where do you find that nowadays? You can't find a laptop with a CD player no more. Like, bro, I've had this laptop a good seven years now. I just keep upgrading it. That's why. You see, <laughs> you know what I mean. Newer ones, no. I, hell, I don't even think the new ones have SD cards on them anymore. They have I don't nothing. Know. Yeah, nothing. Crazy. So, oh man, what what do you think your mute? Oh, actually, I got I got one I heard today. I saw. Um, <laughs> being in the underground scene, how do you separate yourself from other artists? Okay, I like this question. I like this one. I'm not good. Okay, I'm gonna just say, I, I like what I do. I look at it as if my motto is not to talk bad about anybody who does these things, like painting your face or whatever, whatever. I like I let the music do the talk. The music. I feel like my music's so intense and so hardcore and so dark and so wicked. It's like I'm like. The thrash metal of the scene, if you know what I mean. That's that's like my model. My that's what goes on in my little head, right? You know what I mean. So it's like just like Megadeth and Metallica and Slayer. Like we're not putting on makeup. We're not wearing all that weird shit. My music's dope. Listen to it. That's kind of like so. Whenever anybody else on the scene, whether it's live or videos or we're just playing songs together, it's like we'll play mine, play yours. I always say this, I can go song for song with anybody. Six albums, song for song, but it pick their best song, pick any song off any of my records, and it's right there with me. Hell yeah. I know that sounds cocky as fuck. I know, but it's true. Man. That's hey, how man. I feel. That's what goes on over here in this head. It's it's the way to be though. You got to try to stick out from other artists. Like, it, yeah. Do you think social media has like positively or negatively influenced like the music scene? Yeah. It became a, it's a popularity contest, like kind of yeah. like the last question. A lot of guys being on stage, all their friends are there. Oh, they look hot, dude. You can't even rap. <laughs> you don't have a good song. What's going on? Are we making music or is this a pop? I guess I don't know. I'm making music. I don't know what everybody else is doing. And however they get it, I guess they get it. I'm not a hater, but <laughs> I make good music, or I don't even put it out. You know what I mean? I don't. I'm one of them guys. I'll go to the studio. And you can ask anybody like Swing D or anybody that really knows me, I'll go change the song four times at 50 bucks an hour. <laughs> Swear to God, go back four times on the same song, 50 bucks each time till it's just fucking right. Yeah. Like I said, I make music. I don't know what everybody else does, but a lot of times I'll be at these shows and I hear their shit and I'll be like, oh my God. I'm like, dude, you guys even listen to what's going on, but that's how I see it. Oh. Bro, you won't believe the music I've I'm sent having online. It's radio. just so oversaturated. It, There's so much content and it is. 
That's why I said if you're just getting started, quit, man, because you're in the way. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you know, kind of, unless you're really, really good and you really want to do it. And like I said, it's not like the old days where you get a record deal or you can sell a CD for 10 bucks a pop and that's how everybody's listening to music now and word of mouth, no, no, no. It's gonna be hard to make money. So you just really gotta really wanna do it. Yeah. Merch too, bro. Merch is the biggest way to make money now. Yeah, merch is, yeah. T-shirt. Speak, speaking of, do you have merch? Yes. Oh yeah, CD yes. shirts. Yes, yes, yes. All you got to do is go to www.brimstonelab.com. You can find all my shirts. And there's like 30 different shirts. You can find all my music, all my videos. You can buy shit. Same with every other Brimstone artist. All our shit's on there. Like, just go there. Rock it out. You know what I mean? Unless you come to one of my shows or something. You know, just order from the lab. So what is one of your new songs off your album? Uh, I like the World War Three song. It's like track two. It's uh, I start all my shows with that one. It's like the first song I do now because it's just so in your face. You know what I mean? And we could have World War Three at any time. So I like how it's like so current. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and now, is it on YouTube? Yeah, uh, you find the album Revelations uh, eleven thirty four. It's, it's, it's there. Out. And then, what's more scary than total death of the human race or the country or everybody? I mean, it's, Man, it's not looking good at all. I watch too many TV shows. <laughs> it's pretty fucking weird. Now, now, what is your? I got one more question. While I'm pulling this up. What is your thought of Linkin Park's new singer? I hate it. If I'm a band like Linkin Park and we're that big and that legendary and we don't need the fucking money, you know what I mean? Why even do it? I think they think should. Think about it. Those guys are multi millionaires, and you're gonna go on tour and just saturate the name and just run it into the ground. Why? Why not just be like, dude, we did it. We had our moment. We was the shit. And we're still getting paid off it. And we still got big houses and nice cars. That's how I see it. <laughs> My opinion, man, they should have left Lincoln Park alone and started up a different band. There you go. There you go. They could have did that. That would have been yeah. even better. You know what I mean? Yeah. A whole different other name. Um, now, would you say your song was on? Uh, World War Three, uh, Revelations 1134 should be like the second song. Having trouble um, finding it here. Let me try something. Uh, okay, yeah, that's what you weren't doing. Oh my gosh, I can't type like this. This is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I did it the other way around, but for some reason it didn't. Pull it's not up. pulling up. Look, it play anything. Like I said, any song I got. Oh no. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's let's see what we got here. I don't think I typed any of that correctly. <laughs> yeah, some reason it's not coming up. All right, man. I actually just saw one. I actually want to hear. Um, it's got the homie hallucinate. There, hey, go back. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, that's the best. No, that's I saw yeah. the three. Okay. That's with Warlock. Um, let me see here. Okay, play the one with hallucinate. You ain't wicked enough. <laughs> that's a good song, man. Let's let's go to this one. Who I have God, I haven't heard from hallucinate in years. I wonder how he's doing. Very um, stop it, huh? <laughs> I think uh he uh he does a podcast with uh uh it's called Hood Smokers. I think he's oh, uh part with, of that. oh I'm trying to remember who the main guy is. I've interviewed him. Jay Gutter. Yes, Jay Gutter. Oh, cool. yeah. Wow, I didn't know he was doing that with Jay Gutter. Nice, hell yeah. 
Yeah. All right, so we'll we'll be right back after this. Black Magic, the Infidel, you ain't wicked enough. Featuring Hallucinate. Dude, it took me like nine times to get that down because he had the eight on there. Kept fucking it up on his interview. Oh, I see that. <laughs> okay. We coming for him. We gonna expose him. Hey. I'm in the gun and try to night cause I'm gonna kill him. Word on the street, brimstone got a hit on him. We come and throw him, we finna fucking hoe him. Put him in a choke hole and expose him for the bitches. They really are. You went too far. How dare ya use the dark imagery? When you don't even know what it means. Now you want a red rock shirt and red jeans. Been doing that shit since 83. You little faggot, you so fucking trendy. With your outfit from Hot Topic. You little sissy, you need to stop it. Before I run up, shoot everyone and kill all you niggas with dresses on. <laughs> You ain't wicked. I'm finna call your fucking bluff. You ain't wicked. You finna get fucking snub. You ain't wicked. We finna stuff you in the trunk. You ain't wicked enough. You ain't wicked enough. You ain't wicked. We finna call your fucking bluff. You ain't wicked. You finna get fucking snub. You ain't wicked. We finna stuff you in the trunk. You ain't wicked enough. You ain't wicked enough. All these pussy ass rappers claim they wicked as fuck. All you goosebumps rappers, y'all ain't wicked enough. All you pop tart niggas, y'all ain't wicked as us. You ain't no Satan is, boy, you can't kick it with us. I'm from the birthplace of the wicked shit, the home of devil's not. Very MCs on the day. I hold that shovel tight, the DJ Island of hip hop. What they get on hip hop, yeah. We just spitting wicked shit since Boomer was from hell. Every rapper I sacrifice, I offer to the lamb. I got you tied up the chain on the cocky slam. I told you motherfuckers, don't you know that I'm a vicious devil dog from hell? Hell yeah, I'm something vicious. It's too late for you niggas to start running. You can't escape from me. You trapped in my dungeon. Conduct the rituals right on wax. Begging out wicked tracks. Pussy niggas is wet. My game's so aging. They labeling me a heart attack. I come sicker than a fucking ass trick. You ain't wicked. I'm finna call your fucking bluff. You ain't wicked. You finna get fucking snub. You ain't wicked. We finna stuff you in the trunk. You ain't wicked enough. You ain't wicked enough. You ain't wicked. We finna call your fucking bluff. You ain't wicked. You finna get fucking snub. You ain't wicked. We finna stuff you in the trunk. You ain't wicked enough. 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 Oh yeah, bro. That was the first time I've heard that song. Fucker was dope. That's got to go on a rotation too. The Gigi oh, Allen man. shirt is fitting. I caught that. Yeah, one. Did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't even no, catch yeah. it. She, she taxes me. You know who's on that shirt, right? Yeah, like, that, no, that's fitting. That's great. Right. Um. Yeah. That was a dope song. Um. Yeah. That was on a uh, drug sex to me a cult. Oh yeah. So, who are you listening to these days, man? Do you have any mainstream artists or underground that you're jamming? I'm listening to for real. Um, <laughs> I like Bam the Voodoo Child. I've been listening to his shit a little bit. Um, Bam Bam the Voodoo Child. I've uh, been listening a little bit of Hoax. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Other than them guys, not many. You know, a lot of guys, I don't know. Man, I got I to do a video reaction still yet. I do one every interview now about 
I'm well, I'm drawing a blank on who to play. Oh. Hmm. You like rock? I mean, I could do. Uh, uh, what's your name? We interviewed that you had me bring on. Crash Karma. Yeah, you ever heard of Crash Karma? No. Oh, man, they, they were a good, good uh, interview. While we're doing that, why don't you take a question? Um, what does your immediate family like support you in your career? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, I don't know. They like you know. My dad's kind of old. My mom's kind of old. I don't think they really understand the music I make. That's what I'm gonna say. Because they say stuff like, "Well, why don't you do this kind of music or that kind of music?" And I don't think they get it. Hell no, man. That's that sucks when uh, family members don't support you. Yeah, I only laugh because I know what it's like to not have family support. So <laughs> I just spin it in inspiration and like drive. Like, okay, well, I'll show you. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. I spin it right back. Like, ah, oh, I mean, but so Crash Karma. Um, I kept staring at the wall. She had a signed poster from him, a postcard. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I've got to get them on for an interview. So I checked the music out. So oh, there's no way you're getting them on. So I got him on like a couple weeks later. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude, he does like bass guitar with the top three strings of his guitar. And then the rest is electric guitar. He had to relearn the guitar, how to do it. It's him and his wife. Are they married? Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, married, they're married. And she sings and plays the drums. And they make music. So he has three strings on the top half of the guitar and the Basically. light. Wow. Okay. That blew my mind out because I kept hearing bass really in there. Cool. And I was like, bro, how the hell are you having a bass guitar when it's just you two? But um, let's get your opinion and see what you think of them. We will be right back after this. Crash Karma, 15 minutes of pain. Yeah. 
when the clouds are rolling and the thunder's calling out your name. And when it's coming down, it's pouring, but this time it is So, what's your honest opinion? It was dope, man. Um, the creativity alone is just like, like I would love to see them live just to see like how they really it's, pull it off. You know what I mean? It's crazy. They're like really excellent on stage. Bro, he's got a guitar made from um, what the fuck was the movie? Oh, I don't remember. It was a horror movie though. Uh, the glass. It's remember. they're in his glass house. And the walls keep like thirteen ghosts or something like that. Yeah. Okay, yes, yeah. he's got the 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 skeleton. He turned it into a guitar from the movie set. Wow, <laughs> that'd be cool. Fucking crazy, man. All right, we're gonna take former a uh, few more questions here before we hop off. So, ah, uh, how would you price your verses if someone wanted to collab with you now? Hmm. I would say pay for the fucking hour of studio time, and there you go. Oh, hell yeah. So you pretty much do it for free except for studio time? Pretty much, yeah. Depending now. You know what I mean? I mean you know, right now at this moment, yeah, you cover the studio time, I'll go drop a verse. Fuck it. So if it was like... Shaggy Two Dope or someone hitting you up, I bet you'd come up with the money. Oh, I need a couple more dollars, <laughs> Shaggy. <laughs> or I'd just be like, for real, dog. All right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, all right. <laughs> well, if you could make a song with anybody, then who would it be? Wow. I think uh, I would do a song where it'd be like uh, Black Magic, The Infidel, Marilyn Manson, and Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, oh wow, yeah. that'd be so cool, actually. Yeah, she's got yeah, a tattoo on her foot. Oh, oh yeah, that's Rob. Oh Bobby. no, you got Rob. That's Zombie. Rob Bobby. Yeah. Thank you. Oh yeah. All right, I got one more question before we do some shout outs and hop off, man. Um. So. What? What? Oh. Uh, Come on. I want a good one before we hop off. Yeah, let, let's do this one. So if you could do the ultimate, make an ultimate cipher, what three artists would you have on this cipher with you? Hmm. Wow. That's a good question. Um, I guess I'll keep it wicked, though. Uh, Necro. Oh, yeah. And... Uh, <laughs> hey God, I'm trying to think of really good rappers, right? Necro, um, I don't know. Fuck up. It's like wow, when your fucking mind goes blank. Um, Necro, uh, Hex. Oh yeah. Um. We 
Ouija Mac. And uh, hmm. Mastermind. There you go. Oh, damn. I haven't heard that name in forever. There you go. That would be the four guys. Oh, yeah. That would be a good song. Um, so do you have any upcoming shows that you want to shout out? I have no shows coming up right now. Um, I'm basically done for the year. I'm just doing like uh, three new videos and I'm going to start my next album. I don't want to give out the title yet because I always hate when I do that because I'm locked in to keep the title. <laughs> yeah, yep. just in case you want to change it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, even, even Swing D's been asking, like, what's the title of next? I'm like, I can't tell you because as soon as I tell you, you're going to post it and then <laughs> it's like I'm stuck. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, hell. But I got some really good new songs though. That I'm, like last album, I'm really proud of. Um, so it's like my goal is to try to trump each record. So, oh yeah, any dope features on your new album? What do you got on? The one I just did, did has insane poetry on it. Oh man, we do a song called "It Is Written." You gotta hear it. It's a uh, the la the newest record that's out now is like an apocalyptic record, a doomsday. Every, like almost every song has something to do with like the end of the world one way or another. But me and him did a song called It Was Written, and he just snaps. You got to hear it. I got you got to hear it. He just got snaps. It. So, and we're filming a video for that one, by the way. Oh, dude. Hell yeah. So funny, insane poetry. Funny, story, funny story about Insane Poetry. Easy always brings us up. I, I know he, he's over there thinking about it right now, so I'll, I'll say it easy. I'm at a show with Easy 606, and I go on a ride with a few people to the liquor store. I look at the guy in the front seat. I'm like, bro, are you are you are you an artist? You're performing tonight? <laughs> he looks at me, he's like, fool, this is my show. Yeah, I'm performing. He go, and he's like, You've interviewed me before, man. Come on now. It was insane poetry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I felt like a dumbass. <laughs> yeah, Easy's like, here we go. Yeah, I'll never live that down. Bro, he shaved his beard. I didn't recognize him. Like, <laughs> Yeah, he um, does that from time to time, man. Well, I really do enjoy your music. I think it's different, mm -hmm. and it stands out, and it's enjoyable for sure. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yes, it is. Really? I can't wait to get get you updated on the radio for sure. So any, any shot? Oh, I want to thank you for taking the time, man, getting on. I really appreciate it. It's been nice chopping up with you. Is there anything we didn't cover on the interview before we do shout outs? Nah, you covered everything, bro. It was a good interview. Hell yeah. I appreciate that. So any, any shout outs you want to do, homie? Uh, the whole Brimstone Lab fam. Uh, everybody's on the label. Swing, Renee, Necrotic, um, TL Creep, Ouija Board Bricks. Shouts out to, uh, I don't know, fuck everybody. Everybody on the Detroit scene, like, uh, I don't know, from Zitro to Danny, Dollars to uh, yeah. shit. Uh, fuck everybody. There's just so many guys. You know, I hate leaving people out, but. Uh, Swing Hard Diablo. Oh, yeah, that's Swing. Yeah, definitely him, you know. Like I said, he's got my shit everywhere. All you got to do is just Google my name, and it's just sick. <laughs> shit sick, yeah. So, um, Everybody that likes dark rap and wicked shit, that's who I want to shout out. And fuck yeah, everybody else that don't, fuck you. There you go. Uh, <laughs> that's going in your radio job, yeah, bro. Yeah, Yes, it is. That. I'm putting that in. All yeah, right, there you go. We're going to hop off here. Um, I don't have too many interviews scheduled. I got to hit up some people, get some on. I do have Frodo the Ghost coming on on the 23rd, Saturday oh, at 8 o'clock. He wrestles and make music. So, easy, man. I need you on for that No, one. he's going to take all my questions I know, again. She, she's doing the wrestling side because oh. I'm going to be honest. I don't really watch too much wrestling anymore. I'm going to do the music side. So Okay. That that'll be an interesting interview. But no, I mean I appreciate you getting on. It it was dope chopping it up and seeing how far you've come over the years. Hell yeah, man. Congrats. Thanks. Uh 
Appreciate it. Um, when this video gets done, I'll send it to you. You can world premiere it. Oh, I appreciate that. Yes, I will do that for you. You will have it first. My word. Hell yeah, bro. I'll give you my email. All right, we're going to hop off here. Um, this is Underground Wicked Radio out. Sinister Minded Music official radio. Make sure you go check out Sinister Minded Music. Seriously. Uh, they've got a lot of dope artists that they have signed. Um, Easy, Easy 606 is part of their group. But we will be back. I'm hoping either next Friday or Saturday I'll be posting a flyer. Everyone have a good night. Whoop, whoop. Yeah.